Live on Swift 98, SVI Media, and the SVI Sports Network, this is Star Valley High School Sports and the First Bank of Wyoming countdown to tip-off. Braves basketball live on SVI. Home game for Star Valley as they take on the Kelly Walsh Trojans out of Casper, Wyoming. I'm Duke Dance. Dal Erickson here with you inside the Crimson Cathedral of Star Valley High School. It's the first Bank of Wyoming countdown to tip off. You're home for totally free checking where free really does mean free. Visit GoFirstBank. Com. Dal, it's hard to find a team that's hotter than the Star Valley Braves right now. They've been coming in on a good win streak. They've won a lot of games, cracking the top five of the Wild Prebs coaches and media poll this week, sitting at the fifth-ranked team inside of boys 4A basketball. Yeah, they won nine in a row and 12 of 13. The only uh, blemish on that is that uh, second – well, it was, um, it was the – is a two is a two-game day – for them at Flaming Gorge, but I don't want to take anything away from Natrona. The Mustangs look fantastic in that game, but that's the only loss uh, that uh, the Braves have suffered in that stretch. Um, and uh, they've been finding ways to win. Duke, some close ones. You know, that last minute win in Riverton last weekend, they uh, end up uh, holding off a really good performance from Green River here on the home court before that. So yeah, they're hot, but they're finding different ways to win. And they've been doing that with some really good balanced scoring. When you look down the, the score sheet of this team, of course, you're being led by Max Jensen. You have a couple sophomores averaging double digits, Dylan Shumway, Cooper Lancaster. But uh, every game, it seems like during that streak, you've had three, maybe four, sometimes five players in double-digit scoring. Yeah, there's been a lot of different guys who can contribute, and they, they kind of seem to take turns. You, know, you look at a guy like Cash Lancaster. Cash, we've seen him lead the team in scoring. We've also seen him not score in a game, but maybe get five or six assists. Uh, that's kind of how this team is built, and I think that's why they've had success so far. On the flip side, Kelly Walsh led by number three. That's Mason Eager. He's averaging 14.3 per game. Jack Nichols right behind him at 9.3 for the Trojans, who come in 7-9 overall, 1-2 and two in the Northwest 4A classification. It's all part of the first Bank of Wyoming countdown to tip-off. We'll take a two-minute break here. When we come back, Crimson Corner round up and recap the rivalry ahead of tip-off on this one between Star Valley, Kelly Walsh on the SVI Sports Network. My best friend just had a birthday party at the Fun Zone in Afton. It was so cool! We got to play basketball, ping pong, and foosball. We were able to bring our own Nerf guns and even watched a movie on a giant projector screen. For my next birthday, I want to have my party at the Fun Zone too. Mom said the Fun Zone will also work great for my sister's wedding reception in a few months and next summer's family reunion. For reservations, visit svfunzone.com. B&H Auto in Afton has been serving the Star Valley community for over 10 years. With a qualified and trained staff, you can trust B&H Auto for brakes, maintenance, repairs, tires, and more. That's B&H Auto on the north end of Afton. Service you can ride on. It's sale time at Battleson Brothers Carpet One Floor and Home in Afton. Stop by the showroom located half a block south of the Elkhorn Arch and take advantage of carpet, pad, and labor for only $2.99 per square foot. LVP is also on sale with the product available for $2.99 per square foot. Battleson Brothers also has carpet remnants available. That's Battleson Brothers Carpet One Floor and Home, open in Afton, just south of the Arch. Price, quality, service, Battleson Brothers Flooring. It's almost game time. This is the First Bank of Wyoming countdown to tip off on the SVI Sports Network. Live from inside Star Valley High School, that's Braves basketball on SVI. Duke Dance and Dal Erickson here with you. The Kelly Walsh Trojans on the road tonight to take on the home Star Valley Braves. It's the First Bank of Wyoming countdown to tip off. Dal, let's take a look at your Crimson Corner presented by the University of Wyoming. Look at the Crimson Corner. Of course, the Lady Braves just lost that heartbreaker. 65-60 in overtime to Kelly Walsh. They'll have a chance to bounce back tomorrow. Short turnaround, 12.30 tip against Rock Springs tomorrow. Of course, the Braves varsity here tonight, still trying to see what they can do. Wrestling, they wrestled on Thursday. The girls tied Evanston 18-18. The boys won that duel 
to 19. Indoor track prepping for the Simplot Games next week. And a shout out to Porter Merritt. Picked up his 100th wrestling win recently. Shout out to Porter for those 100 wins as a wrestler. That's a look at your Crimson Corner. Brought to you by the University of Wyoming. Uncover, uncover the reason behind UW excellence and explore what makes the University of Wyoming so great. Visit uwyo.edu to learn more. That's uwyo.edu. About four and a half minutes away from tip-off time. How about some games of interest on the boys' schedule in Wyoming high school basketball? Here's the roundup presented by Sunrise Engineering. I think this one's pretty interesting. Number two, Laramie at number three, Natrona. That should be a battle. Cheyenne South at number five, Sheridan. Number one, Central is at Thunder Basin. Number four, East at Campbell County. Cody is in Evanston. Of course, you got the Trojans here in Afton. Riverton is at Green River. Rock Springs is up the canyon in Jackson. Lyman at Pinedale. Kimmer taking on number four, Wyoming Indian at seven. You can listen to that one on the spur. And Little Snake River at number two ranked, Cokeville. That's a look at your Sunrise Engineering Roundup. Creating solutions that work and relationships that last. Visit sunrise-eng.com. That is sunrise-eng.com. Calm down, much like the girls game that we just saw that went into overtime. Uh, this is a matchup that you can't take anything for granted if you're Star Valley. Uh, Kelly Walsh technically coming in as the underdog, but you got to expect a big fight in this one today. Well, I think they've won their last handful of games, and I wanted to say this if you came on the air, they don't want, there may not be a better head coach than Randy Roden, and he is their head man. Uh, he has won a million games and, a mil and dozens of championships. I don't know what the real numbers are, but it's a bunch. Um, so yeah, they, they know what they're doing on that Kelly Walsh bench. And so they're, they're gonna be prepared tonight. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a hard fought game. Let's recap this rivalry with the help of Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine. Well, look at this rivalry, Duke. Uh, this is going back uh, basically the last 40 years. Braves series history with Kelly Walsh. Overall, Kelly Walsh leads it 12 to seven. In Afton, it is tied 2-2. Two two. The last time they met, the Braves won at 57-46 right here in Afton. That was part of the 4A West Regionals uh, back in March of this of uh, 2023. I almost said that this same year. I forgot it flipped over. Uh, that's a look at your rivalry brought to you by Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine. Bringing earth resources to life. Visit Simplot.com. That is Simplot.com. Com. Star Valley and Kelly Walsh as we continue with the first Bank of Wyoming countdown to tip off. By the way, we did honor during halftime of the girls game just ahead of this Star Valley's 3A state championship football team from this past fall. Going to recognize the boys cross country team tonight as well during halftime of this boys game. And another Gatorade player of the year for Star Valley. He'll be recognized during halftime as well. Yeah, Tommy Wetzel, Hobby Wetzel, he is... Uh he is a fast, fast young man and uh, named the Gatorade uh, Cross Country Runner of the Year. He's won the individual championship the last two years. The Braves have won it as well. And uh, thankfully, he and most of his teammates are back again. They might be going, they'll be going for the three-peat. Yeah. So that'll be coming up during halftime. Let's take a look at the records watch for Star Valley presented by the Bank of Jackson Hole. Well, again, I just thought I'd look at more relevant times. Uh, since Star Valley returned to the 4A in the 2017 year, Kelly Walsh has won six of the nine meetings since the Lady Bra or since the Braves, sorry, got to flip that switch, moved back into the 4A class. So to look at uh, your records watch, brought to you by the Bank of Jackson Hole. Invested in our community, local banking means local investments. Visit bankofjacksonhole.com. About a minute away from tip off in this one. What does Star Valley need to do to get a home win? Here are the keys to the game. White number one, threes are key. Both of these teams can shoot the three. The Braves come in having made 134 of them. The Trojans have made 102 of their own. So who can defend the three? Who can make the three tonight? Key number two, win the rebounding battle, particularly the offensive glass. Going to be huge. Avoid foul trouble. Honestly, I'm looking more at Simon on this one. Not that he's played bad, but uh, if Simon could be out there for all four quarters, I think he could be a real issue for the Trojans tonight and try and keep try and win those 50 50s the loose ball who's going to get there first win the majority of those that's the rocky mountain yiddy keys to the game again keys here in our first bank of wyoming countdown to tip off we're going to send it down to the court for the presentation of the colors and the national anthem presented in our broadcast by wyoming Midman supply in thane and online at wyms.co
Let's meet today's players with the help of Mountain Star Products. Mountain Star Products, excavation, road building, gravel, sand, and more. PJ Horsley, senior, son of Jason and Stacy, Afton. Cash Lancaster, senior, son of Aaron, Anna Lancaster, Smoot Michael. Max Jensen, senior, son of Deanna and Wade Jensen, Afton. Simon Gaskell, I'm a senior, son of Amy and David Gaskell, Afton. Zane Hedges, junior, son of Logan Cressa Hedges, the Smoot Wyoming. Prescott Vigil, son of Micah and Melissa Vigil, junior, Auburn, Wyoming. Smith McClure, junior, son of Brian and Sarah McClure, Smoot, Wyoming. Dayton Schwab, junior, son of Dana Marie Schwab, Afton. Bryson Neal, junior, son of David and Jennifer McGee and Justin Neal, Afton. My name's Cooper, Big Country Lawson. I'm a junior, son of Ethan Heidi Lawson, Afton. Cooper Lancaster, sophomore, son of Aaron and Anna Lancaster, South Smoot, Wyoming. My name's Dylan Shumway, I'm a sophomore, son of Matt and Emily Shumway, Osmond, Wyoming. <laughs> That is the varsity roster for the Star Valley Braves presented by Mountain Star Products. Starting five announced here for Kelly Walsh. Number two is Jack Nichols. Number three, Mason Eager. Number five is Jaden Becker. Number 12 is Jace Nichols. And number 32 is Caden Boyce, head coach Randy Roden for the visiting Kelly Walsh Trojans. Now the starting five for the home, Star Valley Braves. Braves getting the start tonight. P.J. Horsley, a senior, wearing number two. Cash Lancaster, another senior. Wearing number three, a sophomore, Cooper Lancaster. Wearing number 20, the Braves' leading scorer, number 24, Max Jensen. And rounding out the starting five, the big man down on the low block, number 35, Simon Gaskell. The Braves coached by Matt Shumway, who's doing a heck of a job in his first season. Assisted by Aaron Lancaster and uh, Ben Hale. Who am I missing? <laughs> I'm always missing somebody on the coaching staff. Dave David Moore. Moore, how can I miss Dave? It is Greek <laughs> night tonight for the Star Valley student section. So that'll be fun. Well, and it's got to be cool. It's hot in here. That's right. There's a lot of people in here. Even the they brought out those little stands for the four corners, and there's even pe mostly full in those. Caden Boyce for Kelly Walsh up against Simon Gaskell for the tip, and it is Star Valley basketball with the opening possession of the game, and we are underway. Kelly Walsh and Star Valley in Afton tonight. Ball moving around the arc. Here's Jensen, quick three off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Boyce. Kelly Walsh basketball back the other way. Works it across the half court line. Jace Nichols. Hands off to Eager, kick out right side. Three in the corner is good, made by Jaden Becker. It's a three ball, three zip. The uh, Lady Trojans momentum is carried over to the guys. Here is a drive down low to Gaskell, touched out of bounds. Star Valley will turn it over. Kelly Walsh will get the ball back. Here's that last sequence. You can see the drive there by Eager opens it up for Becker. 7-17 still to go in the first quarter early in the game. KW working around the outside. Becker finds Nichols. Free throw line back outside. Shot fake and a drive for Nichols. Kick into the corner. Three ball again for Becker. This time no good. Backside rebound though for Jace Nichols. Knocked out of bounds. And it stays with KW on their end. Trojans to inbound baseline. Seven minutes remaining in the first. Inbound outside to Boyce, flick up top. Shot fake for Eager, can't go into the rim. Goes back to Jack Nichols, outside corner. No shot there and around the arc. Left side angle. Mason Eager drives, kicks to the corner. Nichols spins, jumper on the post, no good. Fight for the rebound and Horsley will come out with it. P.J. across the half court line. Works down low, jumper for Cooper Lancaster. There's a swish on the low baseline. The Braves on the board down 3-2. Who said the mid-range jumper is dead? Not Cooper. 6.27 to go in the first. Trojans around the perimeter now. Feed down to the baseline there, under the rim. Reverse layup, missed everything. Rebounded by Gaskell, star body basketball. Cash Lancaster across the half court line, directs traffic to Horsley. Right side wing, coupled left hand dribble, second 6-10 to go. First quarter, Cash up to Horsley again. Works left side, Jensen. Gaskell, kick out, Cash fakes the three in the corner. Drives, no shot, now leans, kicks it back outside. Jensen fakes, he drives baseline, under the rim, has to clear it back out, Cash. Corner three behind the backboard, off the mark, no good. Fight for the board, deep rebound pulled in by P.J. Horsley. Star Valley with it. 
5.48 to go in the first period. Boy, Cash, was that's as deep a three as you can get in the corner. Here's Cash again. Horsley now right wing. Back up top, Cash. Braves trailing by a point, 3-2. Jensen on the left, no look pass to the elbow to Cooper, can't drive in, back out top. Cash hesitates, drives down the lane, scoops it up, bounces on the rim, and drops down. Braves lead by one, four to three. 5.23 to go in the opening quarter. No fouls called yet in the game. Other side, Jack Nichols works to Eager, wants to back down the defense, poked away, recollect, leans into it, shots up, contested, bouncing, bouncing again, no good. Simon Gaskell on the rebound. Out to Cash Lancaster on the run. Cash, no look pass down to Horsley, who scores under the rim. Beautiful assist in transition. P.J. for two. That was nice. Cash, that's exactly, it makes me look smart. I told you Cash could score and the Cash could pass. He's already done it on the last two possessions. 4.53 to go in this first quarter. Star Valley's up 6-3 on a 6-0 run. KW hit a three ball. That's their only point of the game. Came on their first possession. Eager can't drive angle. Kicks back outside. Around the perimeter is Nichols. He spins on the post, puts up the jumper below the elbow, rattled it in, 6-5. to five. That's Jace Nichols. We got Jace and Jack both in this game. First bucket for Jace. Here's the drive for Cash. He's blocked in the lane, came back down with it, tried to pass it out. Jace Nichols on the steal. KW basketball on the run. Work over to the right side, now up on top. Dribble drive from Jack, kick into the corner to Jace. No, I rather it was Jaden. It's his second three of the game. On the right corner, lead back to Kelly Walsh. Eight to six on our Bank of Starbody scoreboard. Midway through the first quarter, four minutes. Cooper below the elbow, kick out to Cash. Nothing there, bounce over left side. Jensen drives, shut down on the block. Kick back up top to Cooper, drives the middle. Floater in the lane, done and in. Eight to eight, tied. Four points for Cooper so far. Comes with 3.44 to go in this first quarter. Dylan Shumway gets to the scorer's bench. Nichols tries to back down the post. Ball stripped, loose, but a foul. He'll get Cash on the call with 3.39 to go in the first, tied at eight. There's that last sequence. Cooper with the floater in the lane. So Bryson Neal going to come in for Gaskell. Solid rebounds for Simon. And then Dylan Shumway going to check in as well. So Duke, I looked this up on the Wild Prep stats. Dylan Shumway and Max Jensen combined come into this game with 80 made threes. Here's a three from Jack Nichols, missed. Rebound loose, pulled in by KW, put back no good. Volley for the rebound, it's pulled in by Jensen. Max across the half court line, star body basketball. Works it over to Shumway, that's Dylan. 3.24 to play in the first quarter, still tied at eight points apiece. Around the outside now, bounce down to Neal to kick up. Uh, kick out, cashless the defense fly by. Works right side, Jensen, open look on the wing, swish. Barely grazed the net, set up by the fake from Cash. It's 11 to eight on the Western Horn Steakhouse triple. And that was Shumway to Jensen. Now Mason Eager fakes the three. He drives in on the other end, shots up, no good on his hip, but a foul. They'll put him to the Riverside Dental free throw line. By the way, Western Store Horn Steakhouse open in Apton, brand new at Coulter's Lodge, and go check him out. Uh, two chefs there that are new to the community but combined over 50 years experience in the kitchen and the restaurant industry. They're ready to turn that place around, Dal, as the first free throw is good on the line. Hey, you got me sold. I had the hash browns the other day. <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely. Both free throws were good for Mason Eager. Well, he's at 88, uh, shoots over 80% from the line. Thanks at a one-point game, 255 to go in this first quarter. I want a steak. That's what I want. Uh, I'm ready. Ball moving around the outside. Here's Jensen. No look to Cash. Up top of the key. Back to Jensen, but miscommunication threw it away. Jensen cut one way, pass went the other. Into the bleachers. Uh, 2.43 to go in the first. One point game. Star Valley up. Zane Hedges checks in for Cash Lancaster. Zane and the JV won big earlier tonight. I don't even want to say how big because it sounds unsportsmanlike. 11 to 10. It was a lot. As the current score in this game. 238 to go in this opening quarter. Two team fouls on Star Valley, none on Kelly Walsh. Trojans in the lane, turnaround shot, stripped away by Bryson Neal. He'll come up with the loose ball, works it to Jensen, up to Cooper in transition, can't get to the rim. Now he tries, jumper below the elbow, and arm contact will put Cooper to the Riverside Dental free throw line after the miss. Speaking of the elbow, I think that's what they hit Cooper with. Here on the other end, you can see the strip from Bryson Neal that sets up the whole possession. That foul went against Jonah Bolanger, his first. 
From the Riverside Dental free throw line, Cooper knocks down the first attempt. Cooper with, whoops, wrong Cooper. Cooper with five points, looking for six on the season. He is a 58% free throw shooter. That can't be right. He got them, <laughs> he got them both there, 13-10. He needs to run some laps if that's really what it is. Star Valley jumps into a half-court trap defense. KW breaks it, works left side to Becker, passes on the three, now works up top. Dribble drive from Barclay, can't go up with it, kicks it back outside. Jace Nichols, no shot at the rim, back out to Becker. Kicks it into the right side corner baseline, flick up top. Barclay passes on the three, drives in, banks it hey. off the board from the free throw line and in for two. Bo Barclay, he can go banking on the weekend. 148 to play in this first quarter. Star Valley up by one with the ball. Shumway on the wing. Works it outside. Cooper takes the three ball. Bounce on the rim. No good. Big oh. rebound by Bryson Nill. Then he comes down hard. Loses the ball out of bounds. And it's off of Star Valley. That was a big leap from Bryson to come down with that. Came yeah, down came right down kind of awkward. And I'm glad to see him up. That had all kinds of bad mojo on it. Here's Kelly W on the other end. Becker outside, double teamed on the perimeter, no shot. Clock down to 120 to play in the opening quarter. Star Valley still leading by just one, 13-12. Trojans around the outside. Becker works to Barclay. Now to the elbow, down to Nichols, kick out. Three from Gillum, no good. Rebounded by Cooper, Lancaster, Star Valley basketball. Out in front to Shumway, wants to run with it, pulls up, no shot on the three though, and tries to cross-court pass, but tipped and stolen by the Trojans. Into the hands of Jonah Bollinger. 52 seconds to go in the first. And a steal by Cooper Lancaster out in front to Jensen, all alone, and an easy layup for Max. He was looking around to find the defense. Nobody was there, an easy two for Jensen. Cooper on the steal and the assist. Star Valley half-court trap defense. Trojans break it again. Star Valley sets up the half-court now on defense. 30 seconds to go in the first period. Braves up by three at the free throw line. Kick out, able to find Barclay. Drives baseline, double team, kick back out. Ball tipped in the backcourt. Jensen tracks it down. He's on the run. Let the defense go by and he lays wow. it in this time. Still in a score for Max. Making that look easy, going full speed. That's a great play for Max Jensen. 12 seconds remaining. First quarter, Braves up 17-12, clock down to eight. KW on the outside, work right, now left. Here's Barclay, bounce into the lane, clock down to four. Triple corner left, uh, no good. Rebounded though, put back up in time, but no good. And after one, Star Valley with the lead, up 17-12, live on the SBI Sports Network. Jen Johnson, and I'm the head teller here at the bank. Well, I really enjoyed getting to know the people that work here. I feel like we're a really good team. I've made some friendships here. Um, I feel like we're all really supportive of each other, and I feel valued as a team member, and those efforts are recognized and appreciated. Um, when you call the Bank of Star Valley, you talk to one of us. You don't get a call center in another state. You don't get an automated system. It's one of us that are there to help you. Don't you just love going to Caribou Ford in the winter? It's right in the middle of Eastern Idaho Playground over Fish Creek Summit. Just beautiful. By the fishing hole. Might as well stop for a little soak on the way home. We're Caribou Ford with the famous warranty forever. And we're still keeping it simple in Soda Springs. You're watching Braves Basketball with Duke Dance and Dal Erickson on the SVI Sports Network. A couple first quarter highlights for you on SVI as Star Valley hosting Kelly Walsh. Braves lead it after 1, 17-12. And uh, some, good, some good teamwork going on out there. The Braves with four assists in that first quarter. It is going to be Trojan Basketball to open up the second quarter of play. They'll go to Jack Nichols. Front court offense being set up here for KW. P.J. Horsley back in the game during the break. He's on defense working against Caden Fagel. Dumps off the ball to Boyce, free throw line. Can't drive the post, back out to Jack. Nichols, pull up jumper on the elbow, no good. All backboard, no rim. Another big rebound by Simon Gaskell. Star Valley basketball. Simon with three of them. 
Horsley in the front court, flick right side, extra pass to Neal, now down to Gaskell, double teamed on the block, goes up strong anyway, and score for Simon. First bucket of the night to go with those three rebounds. 19-12 now, Star Valley on top, early second quarter, no fouls called early in this quarter. Very few fouls even called in the game. Yeah, that's, that's true. Here's Jack Nichols up top, work right side to Fagel, drive, can't go up the shot, bounce down the lane, and is knocked Ooh. out of bounds. Last touch by Caden Boyce of Kelly Wall, Star Valley basketball. Had a great look at Boyce. Here's that last sequence. Simon just imposing his will and going up off the glass. They got what they wanted with Boyce. He just, it just kind of caromed off his hand, and I think he would have had a decent shot, just lost a handle. 7.03 to play in the second quarter. Star Valley basketball up 19-12. Horsley across the half court line, picked up in the front court. KW is going to go into a trap offense in the front court. Horsley dribbling. Defense picks him up, finds Hedges. He's under pressure. Star Valley trying to get to that three point line. Now they do. Shumway corner three. Takes the shot and rattles it in. A Western Horn Steakhouse triple for Dylan Shumway. Shumway and Jensen. As I said, those guys are dead eyes, and they've all, they both already hit one tonight. Star Valley up by 10 now in the half court trap. Nichols across the timeline, works right side to Fagel. Kicks into the corner. No shot there. Clock rolls down to 6.20 to play before halftime. Jack Nichols passes to Fagel. Defense on him. To the elbow to Bollinger. Wants to try but can't. Gaskell on him. Work back outside. Here's the jumper on the left elbow. Missed. Fight for the rebound. Ricochets into Hedges. Zane on the run for Starvati. Can't get to the rim. Spins. No, now he does go to the rim. Lost the ball out of bounds. It was knocked out by Kelly Walsh. Nice aggressive move, though, in transition by Zane. Starvati will inbound baseline. Jace Nichols will check in for the Trojans, replacing Fagel. Horsley inbounds baseline for the Braves. Looking, looking, lob up top to Hedges. Couple dribbles for Zane with the clock rolling down to 554. Up top, Bryson Neal works it left. Dribble drive for Hedges, nothing. Back to Gaskell, Hedges again on the outside. 10-point lead for Star Valley, 540 to go in the second. Ball knocked loose, Horsley collects it on the baseline, bounces up the post, and it's taken away easily by Kelly Walsh. Say, P.J. just ran out of real estate there, tried to thread the needle, that window was closed. Here's Becker on the other end for KW, no shot. Jack Nichols on the outside, 522 to go in the second. Starbody still up by 10, 22-12, no fouls called in this second quarter. Baseline jumper from Bollinger, no good. Backside rebound from Hedges. Zane quickly across the half court line. Bounce pass left side, Shumway, three, corner, two strong, ball volleyed, pulled in by Gaskell, missed it on the layup though off the turnaround. This time Kelly Walsh gets the board. Five minutes to go in the second. Now a pass down low to an open look, but missed by KW. Loose ball rebound pulled in by Horsley, and there's an injured Trojan down the floor as Horsley goes down the rim, and down to the rim. He's fouled on the shot, no good, and it looks like maybe a cramp for Jonah Bollinger. He's gonna come off the floor. Whether it's a cramp or an ankle, those, those hurt, man. Ooh, boy, he yeah, immediately went down grabbing for that ankle. Hopefully, ooh, dang, those hurt. He's toughing it out by even running back up up the court. Now the coaching staff going to take a look at him. Boyce comes back in. The Braves going to bring in Cash Lancaster, Cooper Lancaster, and Max Jensen. I guess I should say the brothers Lancaster. Well, I can. <laughs> There's only about six weeks left That's of that. That's right. Dude. Only get him. And one of them's got to get a job. Four, 449 to go as the free throw is good from Horsley on the first attempt from the Riverside Dental free throw line that gives Star Valley an 11 point lead, 23-12. He just had a nice start here. Three points, three rebounds, and two assists. Second free throw good. He's played well as per game scoring average is bumped up to five. He had double digits a couple weeks ago, a couple games ago, I should say. Star Valley in the half court trap. KW breaks it. They'll set up their offense to Mason Eager. Now up top to Jack Nichols, to the elbow. Jace Nichols stolen away by Gaskell. Simon wants to run with it. Gaskell has the ball stripped, loose, and taken away by Boyce. Kelly Walsh basketball in the backcourt. Defense retreats. 4.20 to go in the second. Cross-court pass, three ball from Eager. Corner rim, no good. Rebounded by Gaskell again. Simon with five boards. Here's Cash, hesitates. 
Drives, kick out, Horsley, corner three, passes on the shot. Set goes to Cooper, up top, Jensen, wide open look, down the barrel, and in for Max. Another Western Horn Steakhouse triple. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Rates three of six from distance so far tonight. Kelly Walsh on the angle drive, shot no good, another miss, and another Braves rebound. Becker on the attempt, Cooper on the board. 27 to 12, Star Valley in transition on the other end. Max Jensen pulls down the three. Cross court pass over to Horsley and up top. Able to find Cash, quick pass down to Gaskell on the baseline. Dribbles up top, Cash open three. Off the side rim, no good. Ricochets to Jaden Becker for the KW board. A scoring drought here for the Trojans. As they dump it down low, and there's a nice pass, but the shot oh, may have been man. deflected. No good. Into the hands of Max Jensen. Out in front to Horsley, and lays it up and in. The Braves turning this into a rout here in the second quarter. They lead at 29-12. Well, they're just uh, doing such a good job of passing and defending. They're getting deflections, and that's turning into points. Kelly Walsh can't score. I don't think they've scored here in this second quarter, and that one is halfway down. That was a triple that looked like it was going to drop, popped up. Rick rebounded again by Gaskell. Here's Cash on the right side wing, goes to Simon, one-on-one, -on -one, spin, shoot on the post. Too strong, no good. Ball tipped outside to Jensen. He drives, lays oh, it in. Wow. Offensive charge. They take he... the points off the board. There to draw the charge was Mason Eager that's, of Kelly Walsh. That's one of those where you got to check on Mason Eager because Jensen right on top of him. Man, this was a, okay, it looked a little better than what I thought. I thought he landed right on top of him. It takes the points off the board and gives Max his first foul of the game. He'll stay in. 2.42 to go before halftime. Starbody still with the lead here, 29-12. Coach Shumway pulls back the defense. They jump out of the half-court trap. And Kelly Walsh will come across the timeline uncontested here. Two and a half to go before halftime. Just one team foul called on each team. It's been a very clean game and, on the foul count. And you're right, Duke. It was 17-12. to 12. Until Simon gets the foul there. And that's Simon's first. Which is okay, but that's still not a great place for him to get that foul out there in the distance. So 17 to 12 at the end of one, right? So yeah. no no points in the second quarter for the Trojans. So it's a, been a 12-0 run for Star Valley over the past five and a half minutes. 2.30 to go in the second. It is Trojan basketball on their baseline. Inbound outside. Here's Becker for three. Bouncing on the rim, no good. Ricocheted up. Gaskell goes up for the rebound, but it's poked away from him on the court. He digs it up, and then Simon is fouled this time. They'll get Bo Barclay with the whistle, stopping the clock at 2.26 before half. First personal on Barclay. Two, uh, uh, sorry, two team fouls apiece. 2.26 left to go in the half. No backcourt pressure here for Kelly Walsh defense. Cash across the half court line and Lancaster sets the offense. Bounces right side to Gaskell on the elbow, hands off to Jensen over to Cooper on the left. 2.13 to go before halftime. Jensen right side. Sh uh, Schwab with it now. Cooper on the left. Cash on the top. Clock down to 203. Cash has the ball stripped away from him, loose on the court. Then he gets it right back. Takes it back on the angle drive. Kicks it outside right. Schwab takes the three. Off the back iron, no good. Long rebound pulled down by Kelly Walsh. Jack Nichols on the board. 150 to go before halftime. Score still 29 12. Star Valley. Here's Eager. Mid-range, good. There's the first points of the half of the quarter for the Kelly Walsh Trojans. Eager with four points now, makes it 29-14. Cooper Lancaster up top works left side to Jensen. Continuing around the perimeter, now Gaskell on the baseline behind the backboard, kick out to Jensen, finds a seam, fakes the pass, drives, now kicks it out. Schwab three corner left, no good. Rebound tip to Kelly Walsh. They'll get the board to Barclay, and it's Kelly Walsh basketball. Had some good looks there, did the Braves? Just couldn't find the range. 1.13 to go in this second quarter. Hesitation, Jack drives, splits the D, scoops it up, off the rim, no good. Rebounded again by Simon Gaskell, who went over the back of his own teammate. He's took, that, a, took that away from Cooper. He's been a vacuum, eight rebounds in this half. Pass to Schwab, no shot. Up top to Cash. He drives left post and scores on the penetration. 54 seconds to go before halftime. His middle school coaches will be disappointed he didn't switch to the left hand. 31-14. <laughs> Ball moving around the outside for KW. They look to answer with an eager three is good. Mason Eager, the triple on the left, makes it 31-17. He's now got seven. The Trojans three of 11 from distance right now. Braves down to 30 seconds to go before halftime. Cooper up top, right side cash. Holds it low, has a screen. 
Drives the post, can't get to the rim. Kick out Schwab, clock at 23 seconds. Schwab retreats and goes to Cooper. Lancaster on the right, drives in on the angle, ball taken away, but recollects it on the post, tries to shoot and he's fouled. Cooper Lancaster back to the Riverside Dental free throw line with 14.9 on the clock. I'm gonna get Jaden Becker, he just about came away with a steal here. In fact, he probably feels like it should have been a steal. I don't think he like, cared this call much, but ends up being his first. And Cooper Lancaster back to the line where he's two for two. He's got six points. It's just the third team foul on KW. Comes with 14.9 before halftime as Cooper will hit the first free throw to make it 32-17. One more from the charity stripe for Lancaster. Caden Boyce back in on the low block for the Trojans. Cooper looks, shoots, and scores. 33-17. 15 seconds for the Trojans to work with before halftime. Half court trap put on again by Star Valley. They go for a steal, don't get it. No, they do get it, Schwab has it. Seven seconds, left side to Jensen, transition three. Goff the rim, no good. Loose ball on the court, picked up by Kelly Walsh. Now it's loose again and time will run out. Star Valley takes a nice first half into the locker rooms. They lead the Kelly Walsh Trojans in Afton tonight by a score of 33 to 17. Star Valley Health Halftime Show on the way next, live on the SBI Sports Network. Tucked away in majestic Western Wyoming is Lincoln County School District number two. Our team provides excellent public education across five elementary schools, one middle school, and three high schools where our staff receive the support they need to educate effectively. Right now, LCST2 has several employment opportunities for the upcoming school year and other anticipated teacher openings coming available in the next few weeks. Be part of a caring team with LCST2. Visit lcst2.org today to apply. take out the garbage, I bag it. I'm David Kazare, and when I take out the trash, I bag it. I'm Dal Erickson, and when I take out my trash, I bag it. Star Valley Disposal appreciates all their customers, especially those that bag their garbage. Remember that even with just a little wind, loose trash can be sent flying all over the place. Visit StarValleyDisposal.com. This is the Star Valley Health Halftime Show on the SVI Sports Network. Advanced, local, personalized. That's Star Valley Health. Find them online at starvalleyhealth.org. That is starvalleyhealth.org. At the half, the Braves lead the Trojans in after 33-17. Just watch another absolutely killer performance from the state champion Star Valley Brave Cadets. Their hip-hop routine that's been recorded. We'll upload the halftime showcase right after this game to our social media pages and also our YouTube channel on SBI Media. Here at the half dial, the Braves lead at 33-17. Just, just control. That was kind of the, the my my thoughts on the first half for Star Valley. Well, and, and I think the Braves, they just they have so many interchangeable parts. Uh, they can all play different positions. They all just kind of fill the same roles and they can rotate around. You don't really lose anything. And then in a couple of situations where you do have a mismatch, say with Simon Gaskell on the low block, then you have kind of a mismatch with Cooper Lancaster. He can kind of play a four or a five. He can either handle the ball or pull up and hit it from eight feet. The, those really started to, to add up. And then the transition baskets, the steals that turned into assists, that turned into two points. 
uh, they, uh, they added up a few of those against the Trojans in the first half. Near the halftime, the state champ Star Valley boys cross country team from this fall. Repeat champs are being recognized here at Star Valley High School as that takes place. Let's take a look at this score deep in the numbers with your Battleson Brothers carpet one floor at home halftime battle stats. Well, the uh, Trojans were led by Mason Eager. He had seven points and then it was six from Jaden Becker. Two points apiece for Jace Nichols and Bo Barclay. Uh, Kelly Walsh, three of 11 from the three-point line, two for two from the free throw line, getting out rebounded in that first half, 18 to 11 by my count. The Braves got 10 first half points from Max Jensen, eight from Cooper Lancaster, six from PJ Horsley, four from Cash Lancaster, and two from Simon Gaskell, but Simon with eight rebounds in that first half, and the Braves go six for six from the free throw line, three of 10 from beyond the arc. That's a look at your halftime battle stats. Presented by Battleson Brothers Carpet One, floor and home located a block south of the arch in Afton. That is Battleson Brothers flooring, quality, price, and service. Again, the state champ boys cross country team being recognized here. Now back to back state champs. And we mentioned this with the, the football team when they were recognized during the girls halftime. This is a young squad. They got a lot of a lot of speed coming back. They have one senior, I think, in their scoring uh, their scoring group, and uh, Duke. For those people that sometimes try and discount Star Valley's success as being a line straddler with classification, sometimes these are 4A. So take that and stick it in your pipe and smoke it twice. Uh, they won it last year, though no one expected them to. This last season, they had a bullseye on their back, and it didn't matter. They uh, just flat out got it done. This is an impressive uh, group of runners as Star Valley has had, and, and that's really saying something. Coach Draney, I think, now has 17 state titles combined between boys and girls cross country and outdoor track and field. And that's just in my just in my time covering Star Valley sports. He's done a phenomenal job, and these guys are amazing. It's all part of the Star Valley Health Halftime Show. Their banner now hanging inside the Crimson Cathedral and also being recognized tonight along with them is the Gatorade Boys Cross Country Runner of the Year for the second time, I believe. Hobby Wetzel, congratulations again to Hobby, and coming back again is Hobby. So looking forward I, to another great year. I also do want to throw this out because just in case he's watching, his older brother, Asefa, who runs distance for the University of Wyoming, was one of the scholar athletes pointed out uh, getting uh, all, all conference academics uh, that was reported this week. Uh, Wyoming led the Mountain West with 96 of them, and one of those was a Cepha Wetzel. So it's all part of our Star Valley Health Halftime Show. Let's take a look at our trivia questions, see if we can give away a couples combo to Star Valley Station. And this weekend with Valentine's next week, uh, not only are we giving away a couples combo to Star Valley Station, but everyone who responds to the trivia question today will be entered into a drawing at the end of the weekend to win a floral arrangement courtesy of Mason Marie Floral in Thane that's valued at $100. And you don't even have to get the answer right. You just have to respond to the trivia question at 307-203-4637. Well, the question tonight is how many overtime games, interesting since the girls went to overtime, have the Braves and Trojans played against each other in their series? 307-203-4637. First correct answer is the winner. Again, you can win that couples combo, and every response gets you in a drawing for that $100 value flower bouquet, courtesy of Mesa Marie Floral in Thane. Back in two minutes on the SBI Sports Network. I'm Dr. Mark Johnson from Riverside Dental. This has been another milestone year for us. To accommodate our growing practice and our growing community, we've recently brought on Dr. Jorgensen. His addition to our team has allowed us to expand our hours to include Fridays, making us more available than ever before. Here at Riverside, we provide a full range of dental services, including dental implants, wisdom teeth removal, same-day crowns, root canals, and pediatric dentistry. Come join our Riverside family as we help you on your journey to a healthier smile. Avail Valley Construction is your local source in Star Valley for quality asphalt paving. Whether it's residential or commercial driveway or parking, Avail Valley will have it done with great service at a great price. To get started, visit availvalley.com. Plan your next vacation to scenic Star Valley, Wyoming with a luxurious day at Kodiak Mountain Resort. Enjoy your own comfortable cabin with a soaking tub and top amenities. A hot complimentary breakfast is always included. Book your stay at kodiakmountainresort.com. I think being in a small town, you just 
really care can you take more pride in the work that you do because you're working with your neighbors these are people that you see out in the community you know you see them at kids sporting events and parent teacher conferences and the grocery store you know these are our neighbors one of the reasons that people also come back to us is they trust us because we are friends we are family and so i think there's a lot of trust in the community This is the Star Valley Health Halftime Show on the SVI Sports Network. Advanced, local, personalized. Visit StarValleyHealth.org. That is StarValleyHealth.org. The Braves leading at the half, 33-17. And Clay Merritt had the chance to catch up with Coach Shumway coming out of the locker room to get his thoughts on the first half. Clay. What he liked about his team in that first half, he said he really liked their defensive effort. He said after the first coup, first few possessions when the ball got away from a couple times they've really turned it up and played really sound defensively back to you guys it's clay merritt with the miles cpa courtside report it is tax season get your best possible results with the help of miles cpa in afton and in alpine dallas do if we have a winner of that couples combo in our halftime trivia question well the question was how many overtime games have the braves and trojans played against each other and the answer is one and I was doing it. I remember it. It was right here in Afton, 2008-2009. Uh, Kelly Walsh won it here in Afton, 67-64 in overtime. So uh, the first correct answer, phone number ends at 1061, 1061. Congratulations. You've won that couples combo. Everybody, you can pick it up next week from SBI. Everybody that responded to our trivia has been entered into a drawing to win a flower, Valentine's flower bouquet, courtesy of Mesa Marie Floral, just north of Thane, valued at $100. We'll take some more entries tomorrow. That's it for the Star Valley Health Halftime Show. Braves lead at 33-17. And it is Star Valley basketball to open up the second half of play. Pretty crisp, clean play for Star Valley in the first half, and it continues with Max Jensen. A couple side steps, right then left to the rim for two. 12 points for Max and nobody got in his way, nobody stopped him. One of the fundamental things of defense is to stop the, the ball going to the basket and they didn't do it that time. So 7.30 to go, still early in the third quarter. Braves up 35-17. Here's a three ball from the Trojans, side rim no good, out of bounds untouched. Starbody basketball back the other way. Here's that sequence again, you can see Max, he said, all right, I'll just take it all the way in, left hand. No big deal. Cash. Lancaster will take the ball across the half court line, set up the offense. Defense picks him up at the three point mark, has a screen from Gaskell, works it over to the left. Hands off to Horsley, pitches up top to Cooper, back to Cash. 7.07 to go as Cash drives the lane. He goes up wow. and contact, no foul. Ball's loose on the court, out of bounds. Kelly Walsh basketball. We've seen that a couple times tonight. Uh, the officials letting him just kind of play through it. Not a block, not a charge, just letting it go. Saw that in the girls game a couple times. 35-17, Star Valley still on top. 6.53 to go in the third. Kelly Walsh, nice pass down to the baseline, but picked up, kicked out, corner threes away. Corner rim, no good. Easy rebound for Cooper Lancaster. Wants to push the tempo, but the defense is there. Cooper on top of the key, crossover move, drives the post, had the ball poked away and stolen by the Trojans. Down the floor comes Becker after the steal. He Euro steps, but misses the shot. Too far behind the backboard, caught the under rim. Out in front to Cash. He goes up strong to the rim, ball knocked out of bounds. Off of Cash, she'll say, last to touch. They're running wind sprints right now, and Coach Shumway wants to talk about it. He does, timeout on the floor taken by the Braves. 6.24 to play in the third. Starbound leads at 35-17, back in 30 on SVI.
on the SVI Sports Network. This is Braves Basketball with Duke Dance and Dal Erickson. After the quick timeout taken by Star Valley, it is Trojan basketball. Quick ball movement around the outside. Beautiful passing for the open three, but a missed shot again for the Trojans, rebounded by Gaskell. And that's number 10 for Simon. Here early in the third quarter. Jensen drives, dumps to Simon in the lane, bullies his way to the rim, but shot no good. Fights for the rebound. It'll be a jump ball call. Arrow favors the Trojans. Here's your Fall River Propane replay with six to go in the third. It's a good, uh, good turn bullying in there, but Simon gets tied up with uh, Mason Eager. Ball moving around the front court now for the Kelly Walsh Trojans. Dribble drive in, hung in the air, oh. and dropped it in. Jace Nichols showing off some hang time. Well, how about that? Split the D, hung the ball low to avoid the block, and then flipped it up and in. 5.37 to go in the third quarter. Braves still lead at 35-19. No fouls called in the quarter on either team. Gaskell on the post, kicks it out. Jensen fakes the three, tries baseline. Back outside to Cooper. Can't go angle. Kick out right. Horsley open look on the wing. Off the mark for the three. No good. Rebounded by Jaden Becker. 5-16 to go in the third. Starve out, or Kelly Walsh goes corner. Now wing and up top. Jace Nichols. Ball poked away. Recollects it on the elbow. Kicks it left. Wide open three. Shots away. Good. A swish. That time for Jaden Becker. That's his third make of the night on eight attempts. He's got nine points. 35-22 on the Bank of Star Valley scoreboard. 4.50 to go in the third quarter. Braves on top. Hand off to Jensen corner. No one came out on him, so he takes the shot halfway down and popped out no good. Rebound by Jack Nichols for the Trojans. KW in the half-court offense. Into the lane, back out. Jack for three. No good. Ricocheted off the front rim and a rebound stolen away. Jake Nichols has it. Goes to the rim on the pass shot. No good. Rebounded by Cooper Lancaster. Star Valley basketball. 4.24 to play in the third. Cooper hesitates. Drives. Jumper below the free throw line. Got the front rim. No good. But rebounded by Gaskell. He goes up and is fouled. Simon to the Riverside Dental free throw line with 4.16 to go in the third period. There's that sequence. Simon picking up his 11th rebound. And they get him across the arms, and he'll go to the free throw line for the first time on the season. Simon's a 45% free throw shooter. He hasn't been there a lot, though. Just 13 of 29 on the season. That one well off the mark. Just hit the side rim. Schwab and Shumway back in. Cash and PJ have a seat. Well, Simon at the line. Jensen and Cooper on the post. One more from the Riverside Dental free throw line for the Braves with 4.16 to go in the third. Shot, ricochet back rim, no good. Cooper tipped it out of bounds. It's going to be Kelly Walsh basketball. Good box out there for Boyce. He's like, you ain't getting that. One team foul called in the quarter. It's gone to Kelly Walsh. 35-22, Star Valley on top. Braves have been undefeated inside of 4A West play up to this point, trying to keep that alive here tonight. Ball moving around to Gillum for the Trojans. Kicks it to the post, now to the elbow. Shot fake, up and rolled over the rim. Bo Barclay for two in the paint. He's got four points. Undersized, but the shot fake got him some, some elevation, if you will. Here's Simon, kicks it back out. Works to Shumway, contested three. Front rim no good, fight for the rebound. Kelly Walsh will have it. Board to Bollinger. 340 to go in the third. Star Valley still leading 35-24. Ball poked away by Star Valley, but Kelly Walsh recovers it. Here's Gillum, top of the floor, being covered by Jensen. Gives it up into the corner to Jake Nichols, or Jace, rather. Jace holds, right wing, up top to Mason Eager. Now to the post. Bollinger tries to go up. Shot is in and good off the high square. And it's a nine-point game. See, the Braves have kind of come away empty with their last couple possessions. The Trojans chipping away at this lead. Cut it back down to single digits. Hasn't been that way since midway first quarter. Here's Jensen, kicks out to Cooper. Or at least uh, second quarter anyway. Cooper Lancaster in the corner, finds Gaskell just outside the key. Gets to the post, pivots, kicks out Schwab. No drive for him. 
Cooper, deep three, good, a switch from outside, and a Western Horn Steakhouse triple for Cooper. Ray's now four of 14 from the arc. Comes with 2.38 to play in this third period. Here's a dribble drive, scoop and shot, no good. Missed by Nichols, and another Simon Gaskell rebound. Goes to Jensen. Gaskell's had some big get minutes off the boards today. He hasn't had foul trouble, so he's played a lot. Here's Shumway in the lane. Contested layup is in and good. Kind of falling away from the boards. Yeah, that was a nice shot from Dillon. They were swiping at it. He was able to get it up and through the trees. 2.13 to go in the third period. Kelly Walsh now working around the outside. Pass into the corner to Barclay. Goes baseline, no shot. Back out to Gillum. Shot fake, back to Barclay in the corner. He tries to drive again. Double team on the post. Up top to Bollinger, and it contested. No good. Rebounded by Cooper Lancaster. That was blocked by Gaskell. Schwab on the perimeter. Double team. Has the ball stripped, but fouled. 149 to play in the third. Star Valley leading it 40 to 26. This foul is going to go against uh, number 21, Bo Barclay. That's his second. Two team fouls. The Braves have not been whistled for a foul in this quarter. I've had very few fouls all game. You're, you're right. They've just played clean and crisp today. Here's Shum Schwab. Kick out to Shumway. Corner right three. Halfway down, but no good. But rebounded and put back by Simon, but he missed the putback. So he's eaten up the boards, but missed that putback. Half court pass all the way down the floor. Shot fake up, no good. They say sandwich the ball, loose on the court. Dug up by Barclay, clears it back outside. Jack Nichols for three, and it's a swish down the barrel. Barclay digging up the boards, and it results in an assist and a triple. Makes it an 11-point game. Kelly Walsh hanging around, 40-29. to 29. First made three for Jack Nichols. Jensen drives. He's blocked at the rim, but with a foul. Clean on the ball, but heavy on the body there. Nice Jonah Bollinger of, on the foul. A lot of body contact on that one. That'll be Jonah Bollinger's second on my stat sheet, which is works out because that's what the official scorebook says too. Jensen knocks down the free throw, his first attempt of the night, and he's got 13 points. Here's one more from the Riverside Dental free throw line. Second attempt is good for Max. Got them both, 42-29, a minute five to go in the third quarter in Afton. Kelly Walsh basketball. Star Valley jumps into the half-court trap defense, and it results in a loose ball steal. No, still on the court. Shumway will dig it up. Braves basketball, Shumway's double team. Still on the side, needs some help, and a quick timeout taken by Coach Shumway before something bad happens there, wanted to keep possession. So Star Valley basketball, when we come back, 51.7 to go in the third. Braves lead at 42-29, back in 60 on SBI. I'm Sarah Malik. I've been a phlebotomist at Star Valley Health for six years. The lab serves the Alpine Clinic down to Bridger Valley, including the Thane and Cokeville Clinics. As a small town community hospital, it really is your friends and neighbors who will be there to take care of you. That's my favorite part about working at the hospital and being a patient there myself is the professional but community feel. To learn more about the services that we provide, you can visit StarValleyHealth.org. Down at the creek, Swift Creek Trading, that is. It's not about selling hats, boots, and jeans. It's about giving back to our Valley's youth and keeping our heritage and traditions alive. When you shop at Swift Creek Trading, you help us sustain agriculture. You help us perform. You help us compete. You help us brand our own businesses. So come on down to the creek. Swift Creek Trading, that is. Where, Where your purchase, purchase supports, supports us. us. Where your purchase supports us. Live coverage of local high school sports continues now on the SVI Sports Network. Tripped and loose, though, taken away by Kelly Walsh. Trojan basketball down the floor, led by Jack Nichols. He'll stop on the three line, hand off to Bollinger, who drains the three. And the Trojans just hanging around. Still a 10-point game. 30 seconds remain in the third. Start by the basketball. Cooper Lancaster works right side to Shumway. Dillon tries baseline, dumps off to Gaskell, double team to the paint, goes up strong anyway. That one drops for Simon, and it's 44-32. Simon working his tail off down there. He's got four points now and 13 boards. 
Here's a half court pass all the way down the floor to a Jonah Bollinger. That was a beautiful assist against the half court trap. Five seconds for Star Valley. Down the floor, tit pick up by Schwab. Over to Jensen, three at the buzzer, off the mark and no good. And that sends us into the fourth with Star Valley on top by a score of 44 to th uh, 32 on, th no, 44-34 on the SBI Sports Network. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine is committed to building safety at the mine and in the community. Recently, Simplot was awarded the Sentinels of Safety Award from the National Mining Association, while safety manager Wumpa Roberts was named the Distinguished Safety Professional of the Year. Smoky Canyon Mine's rescue team consistently wins the Simplot Rescue Team competition. Simplot also dedicates resources for their annual Safety Day with area 5th grades. Simplot, bringing safety home. At the University of Wyoming, ideas come to life. It's where the spirit of innovation and boundless curiosity fuel our hunger for knowledge. It's where the past meets the present and our students shape a brighter future. I'm a student athlete. I'm a musician. I'm a mentor. And, and I'm, I'm a, a cowboy. cowboy. The world needs more cowboys. On the SVI Sports Network, this is Braves Basketball with Duke Dance and Dal Erickson. Coming back after the timeout, it is uh, Star Valley opening up with the fourth quarter lead of the Mountain Valley Mattress Company fourth quarter, up 44-34. And I know, you know, this game, it kind of feels like since the second quarter that it hasn't, it's kind of been this giant lead. It's only 10 points. Yeah, Kelly Walsh has been hanging around. Here's Cooper, three ball right corner. Off the rim, no good. Rebounded by the Trojans and a chance to make this a single-digit game early in the fourth. Trojans with the ball. Quick pass and a handoff back to Nichols. Chase holds a high pass on the post. Shot fake, up now, and dropped it in for two from Boyce. His first basket of the night. He's got two points to go with a couple of rebounds. Seven and a half still to play in the fourth, but now an eight-point lead for Star Valley, up 44-36. Shumway comes baseline, comes back out. Horsley up top to Cooper and left side to Schwab. One dribble pass for Dayton and around the arc go the Braves. Horsley on the right side wing, spins, pivots, keeps the dribble alive back to Schwab. Cooper drives to the rim, finger wow. roll in and good. They were waiting, he was waiting to block that from Cooper. He was loading up on it and instead he teardropped it and let it go early and went up and over the block and in the basket. That is George Gervin stuff right there. Lead back to 10. Nichols. Pass to Jace Nichols. Back to Jack Nichols. Works over to Jaden Becker. No shot. Here's Jack, top of the key. Drives right post. Pull up on the elbow. Bricked off, no good. Rebounded by Jace. Kick out, extra pass. Three balls away. No good. Rebounded by Cooper Lancaster. Star Valley basketball, six and a half to go in the fourth. Deep pass left side, Cooper from the right half court mark was trying to go all the way left corner to Shumway, too high and incomplete. Well, Cooper did play a bit of quarterback this last fall. Shumway was not one of his receivers. No, he wasn't. <laughs> 6.20 to go in the fourth. Star Valley still up by 10, but back on defense. Here's Jace Nichols, high. A tough pass, ball deflected. Tipped, Cooper tries to track it down. He does, has the low dribble, can't get to the rim though, has to come back out. Tries to feed it into the rim to Horsley, but it's taken away by Jack. Nichols comes across the half court line. He tries to drive, spins wow. to the rim, no good. Rebounded though by Jack, he goes up, and this one's good with the foul. So he missed that first one, but it ended up paying off because he gets the board, the bucket, and the whistle. Some pretty impressive moves down there, getting to the hoop. For Jack Nichols, let's look at it again in our Fall River Propane Replay. Man, that was a sweet 360. And then it winds up in his hands. Look at him finish. Clock is stopped at 5.51 to go in the fourth. Missed a free throw, but a rebound by Kelly Walsh. Dribble, put back, no, but another foul. And Mason Eager now goes to the Riverside Dental free throw line in an eight-point game with 5.48 to go in the fourth. So that last foul went against P.J. Horsley. This one went against Smith McClure, who's probably thinking, he didn't even know I checked in, and he gave me a foul. 
First free throw is good to make it 46-39. And as quick as Smith is in, he will sub out Gaskell back down to the low block. Seen Hedges down there as well. P.J. Horsley and Max Jensen up top on the post Don't with look. Shumway in the front court. Don't look now, but if he makes this, it's a six-point game. Yeah, they've just, they've just kept hanging around, and they've battled into this thing. They haven't gone away. He does make the free throw, and it's 46-40. Kelly Walsh right in this thing. 5.44 to go in the Mount Mountain Valley Mattress Company fourth quarter. I think they trailed by as many as 13. Here's Jensen. Can't get to the rim. Defense is heavy on him, has to give it up to Horsley. P.J. back to Jensen, lost the ball oh out of goodness. bounds. And just an unforced error. Star Valley, they've been so crisp all game, but maybe a little sloppiness here late. And the Trojan bench on their feet, trying to exhort the, their teammates to cut this to a one possession game. It's 46-40, Star Valley on top with momentum for Kelly Walsh. Jack drives, kick out three from Jace. Bouncing and drops in, and there it is, a one possession game. It's 46-43 after the triple. Star Valley really needs some points now as Kelly Walsh is back in this. Shumway drives, stopped, goes back to Hedges. Hands off to Horsley, top of the key. Now Jensen, he stops, goes left, can't get there. Back to Hedges, 4.53 and counting in the fourth. Hedges hesitates, drives but no shot. Back to Shumway outside. On the right side wing, 4.45 to go in the fourth, and Shumway steps back and resets the offense. Good defense for Kelly Walsh, that sequence. Here's Jensen, left wing, holding it. Finds Shumway in the corner, defense right on him. Screen set by Gaskell. Now down to Gaskell, double teamed outside the paint. Back out Shumway, threes away. Off the rim, no good, but rebounded by Hedges. Zane has the ball for the Braves with 4.20 to go in the game. Drives in angle, spins in the lane. He's fouled on the floor with 4.20 remaining, and just the first foul of the quarter on Kelly Walsh. And first personal on Jack Nichols. Here's that triple before that last possession. Jace Nichols knocked it down. The Trojans, seven of 20 from beyond the arc. The Braves have been pretty cold tonight. Four of 18, just 22%. Horsley will inbound for Star Valley on the baseline, goes outside to Hedges, dribbles up top, and then bounces to Jensen. Cash Lancaster sets the offense. 4.14 to go, fourth quarter. Braves leading by just three now, 46-43. On the outside is Gaskell, hands off to Cash. Big crossover move, gets in the lane and then foul. Another foul on the court, no shots. 4.03 to go in the game. We're gonna whistle Jaden Becker for that one. I've got that as his second. And it is two, uh, two team fouls apiece with 4.03 to go. Gaskell inbounds to Cash Lancaster, left corner. One dribble pass to Jensen and up top to Z Zane Hedges. 3.55 to go in the game. Gaskell strong to the rim, no, but fouled. And Simon Gaskell to the Riverside Dental free throw line in a three point game. And Bolanger will pick up his third, third team foul. And now, let's see if Simon can capitalize here. He's 0 for 2 tonight. Had a monster game on the board, as you can see. 13 of them, free throws good. Struggled with fouls in recent weeks, but today he's kept it clean, and he's been on the floor yeah, a lot, and it's paid off. He's got one. So, good job by Simon. Second free throw is bouncing, but no good. Fight for the rebound. Hedges comes out with it. Can't go up, but he clears it out. He somehow outleaped two Kelly Walsh players. Goes to Cash, no look, oh, pass man. to Horsley. Dribble shot, oh. no good on the rim. What a great pass from Cash to Horsley. Oh. But the defense was there, couldn't go up with it. Hesitation now, Kelly Walsh down the floor. Offensive charge on the other end. Zane Hedges down there to draw the contact. Man, he deserves a ton of credit for getting back there. Here's the replay. Number three on Barkley. 3.34 to go in the game. That's a big call and gives Star Valley back the ball up 47-43 and another timeout taken by Coach Shumway. 3.29 to go, Braves holding on to that lead up 47-43 back in 30 on the SBI Sports Network. Hi! Hey! I believe! I believe? I believe that we! I believe that we!
Live coverage of local high school sports continues now on the SVI Sports Network. Midway through the fourth period, we have 3.29 remaining in the game. Star Valley leading, visiting Kelly Walls, 47 to 43. It is Star Valley basketball. Four team fouls on KW after they played almost the whole first half of the quarter without any. Now they picked up quick four quick ones. Cash Lancaster up top, works to Jensen, back to Cash, now to Horsley. Bounces down to Gaskell on the baseline, clears it out to Jensen, elevates to get the high pass. Now to Hedges on the baseline, or on the post, kick out Jensen for three, no good. Arcing rebound for Gaskell, missed the putback though. He's getting all the boards, but he's missed some point blank putbacks like that one. And to reach his whole big left arm wingspan out to get it. 2.55 to go in the game, it's 47-43. Star Valley on defense now. Mason Eager with the ball for the Trojans. Up to Gillum. He hands off to Barclay in the lane. No shot. Kick out three. Eager corner left. Air ball that no good. Hedges on the board. Able to outlet to P.J. Horsley across the timeline. Clock ticks down to two and a half to go. Here's a three from Horsley. No good. Braves have gone cold. Ball tipped around loose. Rebounded by Jensen. Max on the side. Up top to Cash. That's a huge offensive board for Max. 2.20 to go in the game. Braves still up by just four. 47-43. Sarvalli has not had any significant scoring in a while. Here's Jensen on the outside. Max back to Cash. He'll cross over in the lane. Can't go up for the shot. Works it over to Hedges. No look pass down to Gaskell and he's fouled on the way up. Great pass from Zane Hedges halfway down the right post. Hedges looks like he might be favoring his left arm a little bit. He'll yeah. come over and talk to Coach Shumway. And Cooper might sub in for him here. That's foul number four on Jonah Bollinger. Simon back to the line to shoot two. This one is good. Sorry, I don't mean to sound so surprised. <laughs> he is two of five tonight. <laughs> Six points, 14 rebounds. Yeah, Zane, Zane that shoulder is going to get some, some attention from the trainer. Cooper does come in for him. Cooper and Jensen on the post. Gaskell on the line. Second one's no good. And the rebound to Kelly Walsh. It's a five-point star body lead. Under two minutes to go in the game. Ball tipped around loose. Still on the court. Bodies dive for it. And it's going to be Kelly Walsh basketball. Quick timeout taken by Coach Roden to keep possession of the ball. 30-second timeout. 1.51 to go in the game. Braves by five on the SBI Sports Network. Whether it's staying in touch with family, entertaining the kids, or connecting with your favorite sports team, Silver Star helps unlock the moments you live for. Connect to what matters most without lag, buffering, or dropped connections. Visit silverstar.com and discover frustration-free Wi-Fi from Silver Star today. You're watching Braves Basketball with Duke Dance and Dal Erickson on the SVI Sports Network. Another tight game down the stretch. Star Valley's held to lead the whole way, but the Trojans just hanging around. Just a five-point game. Yeah, they, they never went away. They just kept chipping away at that double-digit lead. Cut it to three. Right now it's five. 144 to go in the game. Star Valley is in the bonus. Trojans drive. Shot is up. No good. And another offensive foul on the Trojans. This time they'll say they push Max Jensen down to the court. They'll give Eager that one. Here's a look at it on the replay. Those are real momentum flippers, those, uh, those charges, if you can draw them. And the Braves, going back to when Coach Kabonik was running things and last year with Mitch Schwab, that's been a, it's been something that the Braves have been pretty good at. Clock down to 1.33 to go. Star Valley basketball up by five. Kelly Walsh goes into a half-court trap, swarming the ball on the outside. Horsley has it down on the baseline. Comes back out on top, works up to Cash. Ball's all, they're swarming all around the ball on the perimeter right now. Star Valley just passing around, holding on. Great pass to Cooper. He's going to come back out. Braves burning clock and a lot of it here with the five-point lead. 1.15 to go. Pass up top to Cash. He swarmed on the defense and now will step back and reset the offense. Here's Horsley. Flick to the right side to Jensen. You know, Duke, I've referred to this. And a foul is going to be called on Kelly Walsh as they double-team Cash Lancaster. I've referred to this style of play as tournament ball. 
And if you have good guards that can handle the ball and you got a, a modest lead, you can really kind of close out games, especially in tournament play. Uh, it's interesting that the shot clock is coming to Wyoming most likely, and that is not going to be as effective as it is right now. First free throw is good from Cash. Yeah, we've seen that in Idaho in a few games we've had against some of the Idaho schools. The shot clock can impact it late. When I saw that it passed uh, at, the, at the state level at the meeting on first reading. So Here we'll is the free throw no good oh, as wow. Cash goes out of bounds trying to save the ball. Dumps into the cart cooler. It is Kelly Walsh basketball. Trojans down the floor, work it to the right side to Becker. Ball stripped out of his hands, but a foul on Star Valley. Just the third Star Valley foul, so they can afford to be aggressive with 46 remaining in the game and a lead up 49-43. Max Jensen going to be whistled for his second. I'll tell you what, the Trojans have found where the chairs are on the sidelines this last couple possessions. 40 seconds remaining in the game. Trojans trailing. Here's a three ball off the rim. No good. Fight for the backboard. Rebound. And it's won by Boyce, who goes up and is fouled by Gaskell. Shot no good. Just the fourth team foul, but it's on the shot. So two shots here for Caden Boyce on the line. Second on Gaskell. Boyce to the line for the first time tonight. On the season, he's a 53% free throw shooter, according to Wild Preps. First one is good. Makes it 49-44, lead back down to five. Shumway subs in for Gaskell. So Coach Shumway going for a little uh, speed on the perimeter, trying to put in those guards, like you mentioned, ball handlers to try and keep the ball away from Kelly Walsh and get his free throw guys in there. Second free throw rolls around and is good. Timeout taken by Coach Royce Ro uh, Randy Roden. 36.6 to go. It's a four-point game, 30-second timeout. Star Valley up down by four, 49-45. And you would assume Coach Shumway of Star Valley will come out with that similar lineup. It was pretty guard heavy, so he can move the ball around and shoot those free throws. Well, and you want to be able to to uh, avoid this defensive pressure or work through the defensive pressure that Kelly Walsh is going to bring at you. Because, uh, you know, stealing a layup here makes it a, a one possession game. I believe Star Valley is in the bonus. So any foul on Kelly Walsh will put Star Valley to the line. In fact, both teams in the bonus. Kelly Walsh will be there on the next Star Valley foul. Brays with four. Coach Roden and his visiting Trojans looking for a defensive steal on the inbound. They go full court pressure. Cooper will trigger it in for the Braves. Looking, looking, four second count, gets it in, and then a quick foul. That's going to put P.J. Horsley to the, nope, Cash Lancaster, sorry, to the Riverside Dental free throw line. They'll whistle Jaden Becker for his third. Almost no time came off the clock. That was a really fast foul, 35.8 remains. Star Valley with a four-point lead. All they have to do is protect the ball and hit some free throws down the stretch. Cash with five points tonight. He's one of two from the line. First is away and good. Makes it a five-point Star Valley lead up 50-45. The Braves Gaskell will come back in as Coach Shumway playing a little chess match here to get his players in. So the Braves have shot well from the line tonight. 12 of 17 at 71%. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded by the Trojans. Kelly Walsh basketball. Star Valley pressuring in the backcourt, trying to make sure that they take as much time off the, the clock as possible. KW down the floor with 25 seconds. It's a five-point game ball stripped and stolen by Cooper Lancaster. He has it. Will just cover up the ball and force Kelly Walsh to foul him. Stops the clock at 21.7 and a five-point Star Valley lead. Third steal of the night for Cooper Lancaster. He's got 13 points, six rebounds as well. And he is four for four from the line in this ball game. 21.7 seconds remains. Again, both teams in the bonus. Star Valley with 14 fouls, so their next one will put Kelly Walsh on the line. If that happens with 21.7 to go, Cooper does hit the first free throw. Jack Nichols checking in. Barclay will come out. Makes it 51-45, a six-point Star Valley advantage. Here's a big free throw to make it a three-possession game. 
Shot is up, front rimmed it no good, rebounded by the Trojans. They go on the run, out in front to Becker, to the rim and good. Outran the Star Valley defense. And again, the Trojans still in it with that big shot down the court. Timeout taken by Coach Roden. 15.4 seconds remains. It's Star Valley up 51-47. A full timeout back in 30. Live from Star Valley High School on the SBI Sports Network. Broadcast is owned by SVI Media. Any use without prior written permission is prohibited. Trojans determined not to go away. Braves still with the advantage and the ball, but it's only 15.4 seconds remain. Start body up by four, 51-47. You can't turn the ball over and you gotta make your free throws. That's all, that's, that's the recipe. Cooper Lancaster will inbound, running out of time, running out of time, and has to call a timeout. Kelly Walsh was hoping for the five-second violation. They don't get it. It was pretty close. So they will give Star Valley the timeout. We'll keep it here. 15.4 seconds remain. Star Valley with that lead, 51 to 47. So Duke, I was talking about threes being one of the keys at the Trojans tonight, shooting pretty much at their at their per, their uh, team percentage. They're seven of 22. That's 32 percent. In fact, that's exactly what they shoot on the season. The Braves, though, come in having shot 38%, and tonight the Braves hitting just 20% of their three-pointers. In fact, I uh, I think they've missed 11 of their last 12. Yeah, they've, they've been shooting so good from outside coming into this one, but tonight's not been one of those nights, and so they're trying to just grit this one out and try and pull away a gutty win against the Trojans. Cooper Lancaster will set to inbound this again on the baseline. He can run with it. 15.4 seconds remains. Cooper able to get it to Horsley. He's fouled immediately. Not much if anything went off the clock. Stopped at 14.4. And P.J. Horsley to the Riverside Dental free throw line for two shots. And that's foul number five on Bo Barclay. So he will foul out. He had, I had him at four points and two rebounds tonight. Shumway back out. And uh, Gaskell back in for the Braves. Nobody on the post to rebound for Star Valley. Just Horsley down there and the Trojans. P.J. Ever. on the season, 78% from the line. And he's two for two, make it three for three. It's a big one that pushes it up to six. Now a chance to make it a three possession game here if he can hit it. 52-47. And Horsley from the Riverside Dental free throw line. Sends it away, nailed it. 53-47, Braves lead by seven. Eight points for P.J. Kelly Walsh trying to get some quick points. Jack Nichols, three ball on the way. Front rimmed it, no good, rebounded by Cooper. And that should do it. Kelly Walsh will foul, but only 6.1 seconds remains. Cooper will go to the Riverside Dental free throw line. And now this is just one of those wins for Star Valley that you can look back on and think, we did not shoot very well in this game, but you still found a way to win, and you mentioned that. This team just finding ways to win. Well, you look at the end of that Riverton game. I, I think with 30 seconds left, I don't know that the Braves were going to win that game. You go back to the Green River game. Green River puts up almost 80 points, and you, they just found a way. They figured it out, and they're doing the same thing tonight here. Tonight it's been... Cooper hits one out of two free throws. Ricocheted almost to him on the rebound off the miss. Here's a deep three at the buzzer for Kelly Wallace. They do get the loose ball shot up and in. They are going to count it, but the buzzer is sounds, and it's a five-point Star Valley win. Braves get this one at home, 54-49 to over Kelly Walsh as your final. Star Valley will advance to 14-4 on the season and remain undefeated in the 4A West schedule. Kelly Walsh will drop down to 7-10 overall. 
Silver Star post-game coverage coming your way now here on the SBI Sports Network. Current Silver Star customers refer a friend to Silver Star. When that friend signs up for internet service through Silver Star, both you and the friend get a free month of internet service. Find the details online at silverstar.com slash referral. That is silverstar.com slash referral. Coming up on our post-game coverage, we'll have the stats. But right now, Clay Merritt down on the court with Coach Shumway. Clay. Well, Coach, another night, another close win. What about, what about, what from your team in this one in particular did you like? Uh, well, <laughs> it's kind of a tough one to pick tonight. We, uh, I wish our energy was a little better. We seemed a little th lethargic. I mean, we held on. We found a way to win, so that's obviously a positive. Great first half, uh, but I just I didn't feel like our energy was where it needed to be. Our focus wasn't very good either. Coach, it's a quick turnaround. Walk Springs tomorrow. How do you plan to have your team more focused and better energy for that game? Yeah, we're going to have to be because uh, Kelly Walsh plays a little slower tempo and Rock Springs plays really fast. So if we aren't ready to play hard and play a little more focused, well, it'll be a track meet. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. That's Clay Merritt with our Miles CPA courtside report here in our post-game coverage down with Coach Shumway in this one. Now let's take a look at this score by the numbers in the Battleson Brothers Carpet One Floor and Home post-game battle stats. First for the Trojans, they were led in scoring tonight by Jaden Becker. He finished with 11 points. He was three of eight from beyond the arc. Uh, also getting some scoring in, Mason Eager finished with nine. Seven points apiece for Jace Nichols and Jonah Bolanger. Six for Caden Boyce, including that last layup. Five for Jack Nichols. Four for Bo Barclay. And that was the scoring. The uh, Braves out-rebounding the, the Trojans tonight. 33-26 to 26 by, my, uh, by my count. The Trojans went six of seven from the free throw line. The Braves got to the free throw line a lot more tonight. Of course, part of that was there at the end. But uh, the Braves got two in double digits. Cooper Lancaster leading the way tonight with 15. He also had seven rebounds. 14 points. For Max Jensen, eight points for P.J. Horsley, six for Cash Lancaster, five for Dylan Shumway, and six to go along with 14 rebounds for Simon Gaskell. The Braves go four of 20 from beyond the arc, just 20%. They overcome that by winning the rebounding battle and shooting 16 of 24 from the free throw line, 67%. And uh, that's a look at your post-game battle stats. Presented by Battleson Brothers Carpet One Floor and Home Quality Price Service. That's Battleson Brothers Flooring located just south of the Elkhorn Arch in Afton. So the Braves do hold off the Trojans. They win this one 54 to 49. Rock Springs will be in Star Valley tomorrow for some afternoon tip-off times. Two o'clock for the Varsity Girls, 3.30 for the Varsity Boys. And for those games tomorrow afternoon, and we'll be here for them live as well. Duke Dance, Dal Erickson, our producer, David Kazair, Sage Jacobson, and a great camera crew joining you tonight. Have a great night. We'll catch back up with you tomorrow afternoon for more Star Valley Braves basketball live on the SBI Sports Network.